Hi, I'm Sarah Borders with Benefits Compliance Solutions. This past week, there was a spending bill that was passed in order to avoid a government shutdown. And within that bill included a lot of the provisions of the ACA that were fully repealed. And if you're an employer, there were a few key provisions that you need to know about. First of all, the Cadillac tax was fully repealed, and this would have been a tax of 40% imposed on employer-sponsored plans that went over a certain amount. So luckily that's been fully repealed. The next one is the HIT tax or the health insurance tax. Now this one was imposed on fully insured carriers and would have been a pass-through expense once you paid your fully insured invoice each month. Now this is gonna go through 2020, but it will end for good in 2021. Lastly is the medical device tax. This has also been fully repealed as of 2020. Now in order to make up for some of the lost revenue, they've extended one of the key provisions of the ACA, and that is the PCOR fee. That was supposed to sunset this year and the last payment due this summer, but that will go another 10 years into 2029, last payment due in 2030, at least as it stands right now. So these are the things you need to be aware of if you have an employer-sponsored plan. And again, that PCOR fee will go for another 10 years if you have a self-insured health plan or HRA. I'm gonna go through this a bit more in my blog this week. Please be sure to check it out. Have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching.